All right, hi everyone. So what we have today, we're going to go over a little bit on the basics of setting up Corel Draw, so that we can, you know, put over your designs into the laser engraver and actually get them printed on your project. So one of the things we need to talk about first is how to get started. So first off, we're going to pull up Corel Draw, and I actually have it already pulled up. But if you look here, I can go back and Corel Draw right up there. 2017, so I already have it up. Uh, and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to come in up here, the new file button, I'm going to press that. And really, we don't need a name. If you want to put a name, we can. But for our purposes right now, we're basically doing a something that's really a one-off project. It, it's something that I don't anticipate ever needing again, uh, and it's fairly simple to draw. So first things first, we do need to know the width and the height. So our laser can handle 18 inches wide and something that's 12 inches tall. And to be honest with you right now, I have a piece of material that is that size. So I'm going to put in 18 by 12 and hit OK. And it's going to bring me up a drawing area right here that is 18 by 12. And I'm going to bring this point over so that I can have zero set on both sides for this top corner. So to start with, one thing I need, I need a circle that is a very specific size. So I'm going to come over here, my circle tool. I just drew a circle. Uh, it, fairly simple. But up here, I can tell it how big I need it to be. So my size for this is very specific. I need a circle that is 2.2 .2 inches in diameter. Have it right there. I'm going to hit enter. And you can see it resized it just slightly. I'm going to bring that up to the upper part of the screen, that upper left corner. Now, using the scroll wheel on my mouse, I can zoom in to get a little bit better look. So right now, I have a circle on my, pa on my page. Next, I actually need a small hole in the center because we're going to use this as a spacer for something around the shop. So I'm going to draw another. I'm going to draw another hole right like that. I'll center it in a second. This hole needs to be an eighth inch in diameter. So an eighth inch in decimal form is 0 0.125, 125 thousandths. I hit enter. So it's a very small hole. Now, one nice thing about Corel and a lot of drawing programs like CAD or uh, VCarve like we use for the router, they have like magnetic or sticky points. So right there, it put it on center for me. I don't have to set up and measure everything. Now, one thing about this, this is actually not going to be an engraving project uh, where you know we might put a picture up or some kind of design. This is actually going to be a cutting project. So, to make the machine actually cut this out, I need to select everything. And one way I can do this is hit Control A. That's going to select everything on my drawing. Or, you know, I could just do the standard drag, let go, it'll select it all. I'm going to come up here. You can see a pen right there. And it's saying how thick the line is. And what I want to do is I want to go to hairline. You can see it just faintly changed how dark that line is. Right now, my project's done. So what I'm going to do, I, right here, my, I clicked on the screen itself. My drawing area size is still up. I'm going to come up. I'm going to go to print. Like any other program we have, you know, Microsoft Word, Google Docs, anything like that, we go to print. And you can see right there that it looks like, just like the standard print screen. Now, what I need to do, though, is I need to come down and go to New Epilogue Engraver. That's our laser engraver. I'm still not quite ready, though, to send this to the printer because it would actually have some issues with running this program right now. So I'm going to go over to Preferences, and this is where things change a little bit. So to start with, I want to autofocus my machine. That means it will do the focusing for me. And I need to change these dimensions to match my drawing area dimensions. So horizontal, side to side, that's 18. Vertical, up and down, we know it's 12.
Now, the last thing we really need to set up is what type of job it is. And you can see vaster, no, sorry, raster, vector, or combined. Now, raster, all that is is basically engraving something. You have a picture, you have some kind of symbol, you know, letters, numbers, whatever. It's going to basically, quote unquote, print it or burn it into your project. Vectoring is when we actually cut a shape out. So we're using the laser, its cutting capabilities to cut something. Now, with pretty much just anything, the size laser we have, we're basically limited to right around a quarter inch of thickness to cut through. Sometimes you can sneak it through a little bit thicker material, but you have to usually do two or more passes to do that. And then you run into like uh, edges that might have a really a lot of charring on them with certain plastics that might melt. So you just have to be careful with really making sure you know the thickness of your material and if it, the machine can handle it, cutting it out. Today we're actually going to be using acrylic because uh, we want this is going to be a spacer and we want to make sure that it wears really well. So it's a type of plastic. And we're going to select vector because we're not actually trying to print anything here. Now, basically what a vector image or a vector file is, it's a line drawing. So one nice thing about a vector image, you can actually print those, like raster them if you want to. And the, the advantage is when you can blow up a vector image or shrink it down super far and they don't distort, they don't pixelate because it's a line drawing. So if you have a vector image of something, it's very advantageous because you can do a, it's a lot easier to work with in that case. So today I have quarter inch acrylic. It's just a quarter, quarter inch perspex acrylic. I'm going to set my speed for 5% because it's a quarter inch. Uh, we tested this a while back and we ran it a little bit faster at 10%. And basically what happened was I had to run the program twice. So by slowing it down, basically in half, in one shot, it'll cut the whole thing out. So next up, I'm going to set my power to 100%. So full power in this. And then my frequency, we go the whole way up to 5,000 for that. So really right now, I'm all set. I can hit OK. I'm going to hit Print. And it's actually going to send that over. Actually, as we speak, it's already been sent to the printer, the engraver. It's ready to go. So that's base, the basics for actually setting up and, and you know, using the vector cutting abilities of our engraver. So the next step is actually to go over, make sure the fans, the air pumps on for the laser and hit go. And in all honesty, in about 15 seconds, it should have this piece cut out. So we're going to go over and see how that works right now. All right, so we're at the laser right now. Program's loaded. My piece of acrylic right here. Uh, there's cardboard, like a papery cardboard coating on it to keep the faces protected because it is a polished sheet of acrylic. So the first thing I'm going to do, since the program has loaded, is I'm going to lift up the lid on that. I'm going to lay this piece of acrylic in there carefully and I'm going to put it against the top left corner. There's actually a set of rulers in there. I'll show you that in a second. And I'm actually going to close the lid. Now, the next thing I have to do before this program actually starts is I need to turn on the air pump and the exhaust fan. A, to provide some fresh air to the machine and B, that exhaust fan's there to blow all the fumes and any smoke or vent outside that way it doesn't start smelling in here so just to show you you can see that it's centered in that upper left corner and what I'm going to do right now is I have the go button right here I'm going to turn on the air and the pump and we're going to get started and see how this actually cuts All right, so goes set. Self focusing right now.
All right, so the beep that you heard is actually the machine signaling that it's done. So when you hear that, you can actually go ahead and see right there that it actually punched out a really nice, very clean circle in that, which is exactly what we wanted. The other thing, we had that center point hole. It should actually just pop that piece out. So you can see that did. Now, the last thing we have to do, we said that there's that paper coating in this. That actually has to come off, obviously, before we use this because, um, you know, we actually have a really nice, what they call flame polished edge on the side of this acrylic. So when the flame goes in, it actually faintly melts uh, the plastic, the acrylic, and produces a really clean, what looks like someone actually polished the edge. You can see right there, really nice, clean edge. If you actually looked while the laser was running, you could actually see light uh, actually coming out underneath that paper. And that's because it's almost doing a fiber optic effect where that it's lighting up the very edge and shooting it out quite a bit from where it's actually cutting. Now, the other thing about this is, you know, this is quarter inch uh, plexiglass acrylic really is what it is. Uh, that's about the limit that the laser we have right here can handle. We have a 30 watt laser. Uh, the higher wattage lasers, they can handle up to close to an inch of acrylic. We can also only handle about a quarter inch thick wood if we're actually cutting it out. You can sneak it through thicker material if you run a couple passes, but then you have the risk of more charring in the edge or in the case of plastic or acrylic, maybe the edge actually melting rather than it cutting it cleanly. So I hope this gives us a basis for where we're starting with the laser and actually starting to program things with it. From here, we're going to start to segue a little bit into being able to program things on the CNC router and use the software that's uh, required for that, which is BCAR. We're going to try to get everyone going a little bit on that and get some basic designs in there. So until next time, hope you learned something.